Okay, so I got a brand new perfection performance proven clutch kit for my 71 truck. Comes with a brand new disc, throwout bearing, pressure plate, pilot bushing, and the alignment tool. Now, when I put the new pilot bushing on the alignment tool pretty tight not a lot of tolerance there which is great now when I take that same alignment tool and I put it in the back of my engine you can see how much play I have there so I can take a piece of 5 8 round stock and I can try to put it in here and it fits in loosely. When I try to put it into the new pilot bushing, it does not fit. Okay, so now we'll get messy here. Fill this baby up with grease. They say this is the old school method. I've actually never taken one of these out before. Never had a need to, but this one is so worn out that I definitely need to. Otherwise, it's going to wreck the bearing, the input shaft bearing, on the front of my transmission. You don't want to do that. Then you get to pull the transmission out. hear the air coming out as I push the grease in and what I've seen is it takes several tries before you actually get this to where you need it oh, baby. You can see it coming out already what a genuine way to work something Old school and simplistic, just like me. <laughs> Look at that, just like that. Is that ever sweet? Awesome. Okay, so now I have that removed, the old pilot bushing, and I thoroughly cleaned out carburetor cleaner, wipe it out clean and when you look at the new pilot bushing you'll see a radius side and a square side. You obviously want the square side going in so that when you go to put the engine in the transmission can find its way into this uh, bushing a little bit easier. I have this bearing driver tool which normally goes together like this and then you put the bolt in. Uh, you can use just about anything to drive these in. Sometimes a uh, socket and an extension works good. This is what I'm going to use today. So we'll get this up here, get it semi started in the hole. You want to make sure to go in there square and straight. So you got to watch what you're doing as you're doing it. Basically just drive it in. It will seat when it's all the way in. You can see right now that that's going in straight. So you can pull your tool away once in a while and look at it. It looks like it's going a little more this way. So I'll pound a little more on that side. And hold your tool on there. Now you could hear the difference in sound there as it was all the way in. There it is. New pilot bushing installed, ready to go.